Wayne County, certainly in Michigan, that's been cut off from water. This is People's Tribune Radio. Today's program, From the Pages, a series of podcasts from the People's Tribune newspaper, a monthly published in Chicago. Please listen. Good evening, my friends and neighbors. This is Jim Fight, reading to you from the January 2016 People's Tribune. We're going to start today on page 5, an important article sent in by the Home Rich Nine. You'll remember them as the individuals who tried to stop the city of Detroit from shutting off poor people's water. The article's entitled Threat to Democracy and Jury System in Water Trial. Dateline, Detroit, Michigan. In July of 2014, nine protesters were arrested and charged with disorderly conduct as they blocked home-rich trucks hired by the city from leaving their facility, intending to turn off the water to Detroit's poorest. Two of those arrested, longtime activists Reverend Bill Wiley Kellerman and Marion Kramer, requested jury trials, which were granted after a 16-month wait. The trial, which began November 20th, was abruptly stopped on December 1st, before it was to go to the jury. Reverend Bill Wiley Kellerman gives his account of what happened as follows. Quote, Marion Kramer repeatedly remarked how it galled her each time the prosecutor called herself the people, as in, the people object to this testimony, Your Honor. Marion said, We represent the people of Detroit in our action and witness way more than the prosecution does. The Reverend continues, I'd say the jury of Detroiters represents the people, and by an ex parte motion, the judicial maneuver, the jury has been sent home without deliberating. Even this one remaining democratic forum under the emergency management system This is a system of corporate dictatorship where the state-appointed emergency managers replace the local elected officials. The jury trials are being suppressed and precluded under these emergency management. We are still fighting to get this case back to be seated, sworn, and instructed jury in exile. This motion was brought surreptitiously to the Judge Hathaway during our trial by the highest-ranking lawyers in the Mayor Dugan's Law Department. And the jury will continue to be idle until the presiding judge lifts his stay on the trial, either rules a mistrial, or to continue. Reverend Wiley Kellerman further states, It's barely an irony that when arraigned last year, we demanded a jury trial because under emergency management, three-fourths of the black elected officials in the state, and all of the elected officials in Detroit had been replaced by emergency management. A jury was then, and now perhaps, the last vestige of democracy in Detroit. Now we are preempted even from putting the case to the vote to a jury. During the arguments, the prosecutor explained that they waited until the end of the trial to file the stay because they had hoped the Thanksgiving break would dissipate some of the jury's focus on the wider issues. But when the defense called water shutoffs victims to testify, returning the case to them at this point is a very long shot. The administration does not want people to hear the results of that vote, said Wiley Kellerman. The prosecution wanted this case to be about disorderly conduct. The defense made it about the immorality of raising water bills so high that the poor could not possibly pay them. And then the poor face the threat of removing children from families whose water has been shut off. 
newborns, the chronically ill, the elderly, and disabled were all denied the human right to water so that corporations can come in and make untold profits. This case woke people up to the true nature of our society and who the real criminals are. So the powers that shut it down. The courtroom was packed, and we give thanks for support, says Wiley Kellerman. We are considering a variety of legal and street actions. Waging love, the home rich nine. The United Nations contends that water is a human right. UN Resolution 62 slash 242. Providing water that is poisonous in Flint, Michigan, denying water to families and children in Detroit, or jailing leaders like Reverend Pickney, who fought the corporate control of his community in Benton Harbor, these are just signs of a system in decay. A system based upon private property of the billionaire class who holds political power. The only solution is a cooperative society where the needs of all people are met. Send us your stories to the People's Tribune. Its pages are open in the fight forward for a new society. Order copies to share with others. Visit us on the web at peoplestribune.org or call 1-800-691-6888. Find out how people are fighting to create a new society. Subscribe to the People's Tribune and order bundles of newspapers to give to your friends. Donate at peoplestribune.org. We need your support to continue telling the truth.